Ooh. Yeah, look at this. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Again, it is me today, just Erica. And I'm actually continuing a, this is like a two-parter. I'm continuing from the video of how I blow dry my hair without a blow dryer routine. If you haven't checked that out, um, it'll be down below. I reviewed the uh, Revlon One Step blow dryer hairbrush, something like that. But uh, yeah, I did that. And for this video, I wanted to do a how I straighten my hair without a flat iron. And for this video, I'm gonna re be reviewing the Asavea, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Asavea straightening brush. It has been on my wish list for a while and I finally got it because I really, really wanted to try it out. I like how it looks, like the technology just looks so much different than anything I've ever seen. Um, yeah, but they do call it a brush even though this, it looks like it's it's like a curved type of, I don't know what it is, but I've never seen it before. Uh, I wouldn't call it a brush. I would more so call it a comb. It kind of looks like a, just a futuristic comb, if you will. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try this because I don't really flat iron my hair that much because I don't like to get to my scalp. I can't get to my scalp because I'm scared I'm gonna burn it. I just leave that to Lisa. So when I go get deep condition to blowouts, I just let her flat iron it. And yeah, she's perfect with that. But if I do wanna try something out myself, I decided maybe this will work because you could actually get to your scalp, you can touch your scalp and it won't burn. It has like an anti-scald anti technology with it. So I really like that about it. I think I can get like the back and then, you know, obviously close to my um, my scalp. So, or actually my, I can touch the scalp with this thing. So yeah, just a little bit about this comb or brush. I call it a comb, but um, it does have PTC ceramic heat technology. I'm not quite sure what that means. And it also has ceramic surface bristles. Again, I wouldn't call these bristles. Um, this is more like a comb to me. So yeah, I don't see anything that resembles bristles, but you know, whatever. And also it comes with temperature auto lock, so you don't have to worry about the temperature either going up or down. You can just lock that temperature in. And then it also comes with a 30 minute auto shut off. So yeah, uh, if you aren't using it for 30 minutes, it just shuts off. So that's good. These are all the features that it comes with. I was just reading straight from the box. So um, yeah, this was like $39.99. So it's actually a really good price for something like this. We'll see how it works. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into this video because I know y'all don't want to hear me ramble. So let's just see how this works on my hair. Yeah, this is the Asavea straightener. The light was flickering. I have it on the fourth. Uh, here's one, two, three, four, five. There's six settings. I have it on the fifth setting. So I didn't go all the way up to 395. Um, the only thing about this is that it doesn't have, it only has 265 to 395. So you don't really know the temperatures in between. Um, you just know that it is a notch below 395, whatever that is. Uh, so I used that and it was flickering. While it's flickering, that means it's heating up. But now that it's not flickering, it is set in place. That means it is ready to go. So let's just see how this works. All right, so I sectioned off my hair. Um, and now I'm just gonna spray this uh, Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. This is just a heat protectant and it's supposed to um, protect, texturize, volumize, and repair. And I think it helps with frizz too. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about frizz, but it's mainly a heat protectant for like color treated hair or in my case, chemically treated. So any type of treated hair. Be good, so let's spray that in. Because heat protectant is a must. This casa. All right, so yeah. So these are like my bang pieces or pieces of bangs that have grown out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try that out. my scalp <laughs> oh nice what Ooh. let's give me these edges Ooh. obviously y'all probably like your hair is already straight I did blow dry my hair again check the video before how I blow dry my hair without a blow dryer 
And yeah, the Keeps Feel Good flat iron, I guess it's like good detangling and a good blow dry. Um, the blow dry, yeah, the blow dry was really, really good. Obviously, I didn't get bone straight, but I got it detangled. I got it, you know, in perfect condition for straightening. And of course, my hair is relaxed. So um, that could be another reason why it looks like this. And I, again, I think the key is smaller pieces. Like I said in the blow dry video, smaller pieces makes the um, makes it a little bit more effective. Let's see how I can see. I'm trying to get an angle so that you guys can see how this works, and then I'll scoop back and do the whole head. But yeah, look at this. What? This is better than most straighteners. All right, so I'm just gonna go back and do the rest of my hair. All right, okay, Ooh, I'm excited. All right, I know y'all probably like, why is she straightening the same piece? It's like heat damage. Okay, I'm gonna move on, move on, move on. I just got excited. Oh, let me get the roots right here and see if I can get the roots. Yes, come. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I've never even heard of this brand. This is just like a thing on Amazon. Alright guys, so I'm done with this side, as you can see, I'm combing it now, and as you can see there's a difference between this not this blow dry side and then this flat iron side, a tad bit longer because there's a shrinkage over here. Um, so yeah, this is the results from this side. Obviously it's not Lisa straight, obviously Lisa gets my hair much straighter, but I can actually work with this. Um, it's still straight, but it's like I have thick hair now straight, instead of bone straight it's like, you know. My hair actually looks thick a little bit. It's so crazy how there's like a length difference between blow dried hair and blow out hair. But uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna get started on this. Battery is still blinking. I've charged it like two times throughout this video. I'm doing the most for this video now. Hope y'all really like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna spray this side with the, this smells really good, the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. Yeah. All right guys, I am done. As you can see, my hair is uh, blown out. It looks a little bit different than the blow dry version. Honestly, I can wear my hair in just the blow dry version and I think I'll be all right. But uh, yeah, again, this is not Lisa Straight. If y'all don't know, Lisa is my hairdresser, me and my sister. Uh, she does our hair uh, once a month. She gives us deep conditions and blowouts and stuff. So we go to her once a month. So, um, and she gets our hair like bone straight. But uh, this is definitely not Lisa, but I don't know, it kind of comes close <laughs> once I get my skills up. I feel like if I practice my hair a lot, it'll be, um, it might come close to her. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I do like the outcome. I love this thing. Um, all the features work. Again, it's still on, let me cut it off, sorry. Um, I will say that the setting, I have, there's six settings. I had it on the fifth, the one right below the highest setting, 395. Um, I will say that one is really hot. So I didn't even go to the six setting. The six setting might be super hot. So if you have really coarse hair, maybe that could be for you. I don't know, but um, I used the setting below 395 and yeah and then when I went to go charge my battery which is still blinking it's, it's making this video is a bit of a struggle sorry y'all um this thing the auto shut off works so after about 30 minutes it shut off because I had it on while the battery was charging and I noticed that it did cut off so that works and um in order to change the uh temperature if you want to change it put it up or put it down all you have to do is press this power button like twice or three times, it'll start blinking and then you just press the arrows down. So super simple, easy to use. Um, yeah, again, I really like this curve technology. I like how it gets, it's almost like you have a, you're chasing the hair, but it's like a built-in chaser because you're just you're literally gliding down, you know, with the, um, the comb. You're gliding with the comb, if that makes any sense. 
But uh, yeah, so I really, really like this. Uh, it does, like I said, it does get super hot and it kind of gets hot right here as well, but I wasn't holding that area anyway, but I did feel it a little bit. But um, yeah, but I will warn you guys that the fifth setting is really hot. So um, I don't know if you want to go to the sixth setting, you can, but the one below it is perfectly fine. It's, it's still hot, it gets your hair straight. Um, yeah, so I will be practicing more with this. I'm really excited about this um, little straightening comb thing, futuristic straightening comb. <laughs> and the one thing I really like about this is that obviously you can touch it, it can make contact with your scalp anything so you know you don't have to worry about flat ironing your hair and worrying about scalding your scalp or something because this this thing you can really you can get to your scalp you can touch your scalp basically so yeah just comment below if you guys have used this before or if you've used anything similar um i will have it linked below if you want to try it out um but yeah i'm really liking the results and um by the way this is like the fifth time me filming this outro because my battery keeps dying so y'all please i don't know share this video or something because i've been through a lot with this video <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna end this before my battery dies again. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys. We'll see, you'll see both of us next Sunday. Bye!